WandaVision has kind of, I mean, Miss Marvel was fantastic too, but WandaVision was the first Marvel MCU show to hit Disney Plus. And to this day, I don't think you're going to get a lot of people disagree. Some people obviously will, but it, it's still the gold standard for Marvel on television. I mean, it is, it is still, as I look back, you know, I rewatched a little bit of it, some of the middling episodes when I was uh, kind of hanging at home this weekend. And like, that show is just bloody brilliant. It's such a great show. And of course, Vision was the Vision part of WandaVision. And it had a very, I love the show, but kind of an odd ending for Vision in that show with White Vision just going, I'm just going to go hang out with Dr. Manhattan on Mars somewhere or something. Right. I mean, I, I don't know. But a lot of questions and rumors have been happening since the ending of that show that as more and more time passes, people believe that we're just not going to see Vision anymore. You guys remember there were reports of them doing a Vision Quest show, mm -hmm. <laughs> but nothing there ever materialized. And as more and more time has passed on, and it, as it looks, as Ray brought up earlier, that more and more the MCU is just about passing batons now and, and trying to move on to another generation, which is a mistake on their part. <laughs> Not that you shouldn't do that a little bit, but in general, a lot of people have doubted that we're going to see Paul Bettany again. Well, apparently Paul Bettany himself has now put that to rest. This comes to us from CBR talking about Bettany being at a uh, panel. He said this, Bettany confirmed at a panel at Megacon 2024 that he will definitely return as Vision in the MCU in some fashion. When asked by a fan if he is returning as Vision, uh, he says, in any way, shape, or form, the question was, Paul Bettany paused for a moment and replied, well, yeah. I mean, why wouldn't I? Yes. 100%. Yes. So. That's one Avenger. Yeah, there's one event. We got one. Get them lunch boxes ready. So Vision is going to come back, which raises the question. In what way? Right? I while I love the Vision character, I don't think the audience is looking for a Vision standalone movie. With Bob Iger back and saying, hey, we need to cut down a bit on how much MC we're trying to put on Disney Plus. I don't know if a Vision Disney Plus series is in the cards. So does that mean he returns as a secondary character in other movies? Which, by the way, being a secondary character gets a bad rap because some of my favorite characters in movies and TV shows are excellent secondary characters. So then is, that becomes a question. Where does he come back? How does he deal with the reported loss, fall from grace, and death of Wanda? Does he come... Some people believe he might come back as one in Wonder Man. There's some canonical comic connections there between Wonder Man and Vision. Some people think he'll just maybe come back as a character and as a secondary, like Black Widow used to in Captain America movies. Maybe he'll start showing up in Sam's movies. I don't know any connection between them, but whatever. They were both Avengers for a period of time. All I'll say is this. I love Paul Bettany. I have loved Paul Bettany ever since A Knight's Tale. I think this dude is just pure money. I love seeing him on screen, and I really love the Vision. Vision, who has given us, I think, the greatest line in the history of the MCU. What is love if not, what is it? Uh, no, no, what is grief if not love persevering? Or what, it, yeah, something, something along those lines. What best lines ever. I mean, it's just fantastic. Although, Rob, I think Vision represents a, a problem within the MCU which is a lot of the characters in the MCU are super overpowered, right? Like, guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of this video, DraftKings. DraftKings, the leader in fantasy sports, just dropped a brand new app, Pick 6. Pick 6 is the newest way for you to get in on the fantasy football action with DraftKings. New customers can make their first NFL picks and get up to 100 bucks in Pick 6 credits if those picks lose. All you gotta do is pick between two and six NFL players and choose if they're gonna have more or less of that stat. For example, will a player have more or less than 100 rushing yards or will a player have more more or less than one touchdown. Track your lineup and compete against others for a shot at huge cash prizes. So download the DraftKings Pick 6 app now and sign up with the code CAMPIA. New customers can get up to 100 bucks back in Pick 6 credits if your first football pick set loses. That's code CAMPIA only on DraftKings Pick 6. 
One offer per new customer. First qualifying pick set winnings less entry fees must generate negative number. Max reward up to $100 equal to amount of negative number. Issued in non-withdrawable pick six credits valid for pick six use only. Expire after one year. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. 18 plus in most eligible states, but age varies by jurisdiction. Eligibility restrictions apply. Valid only in states where DraftKings pick six operates. Pick six not available in all states, including but not limited to Connecticut and New York. For up-to-date list of states, please visit dkng.co slash pick six states. Void were prohibited. See terms and pick six dot draftkings dot com. Thor just keeps getting bigger and bigger, like as far as power wise and stuff. Eventually, they made Iron Man that his suit was not science anymore. It was just pure fantasy magic that he could literally do anything. Uh, they're talking about Shang-Chi, them moving Shang-Chi's power levels way up. You had Wanda, who couldn't be stopped by anybody. You got Vision, who a lot of people, a, a lot of comic apologists will just argue, in the world of the MCU proper, excluding the, the cosmic, there is simply nobody who can beat Vision. People, some people, but he doesn't it. have the soul stone anymore, right? So, I would also be very curious. But you know, once they brought back the white vision, he seemed pretty damn powerful. Yeah, <laughs> and see, so I, my, I, I want to see Paul Bettany back, I want to see Vision back. I just hope, I mean, I don't want them to pull an incredible Hulk where they completely nerf him, but I mean, at the same time, you can't have every single one of your characters is the most powerful being in the world at the same time. I don't know. What do you think about what Paul Bettany said? Well, I, I think the way he said it is perfectly fine to me. I'm like, of course. Why wouldn't you bring Vision back? Vision is is such a, you know, to me, when I was growing up, the Vision and Scarlet Witch as a team, as a married couple or whatever, they were they were a, a cornerstone of the Marvel cinematic universe or the Marvel comic universe. And as they moved along, I mean, then we had, you know, Avengers disassembled where Wanda went around the bend and then it was House of M and all that stuff was great, you know, and and um, I think that that having Vision, I love Vision. I love the design of this character. Um, I think he's great. Paul Bettany, like you said, I've always loved Paul Bettany. A Knight's Tale, even Master and Commander. He's Russell Crowe's uh, Captain yeah. Aubrey's best friend. He's just a great actor and a great presence and I really love him as the Vision. I love his voice. You know, he was great as Jarvis and then moving... Him. So I really like that his character kind of represents the progression of the MCU. Yeah. And I think if they bring him back and refine him uh, moving forward, he's going to be uh, a linchpin of, of, because in a way, he's the closest thing to a classic Avenger now, <laughs> other than that, like you yeah. said. And, and, and he, there's a certain nobility to him and a certain gravitas that he brings with, and he's also a remnant of, of he, he, Tony Stark created him. Mm -hmm. So I, I really like the character. I think he's got to be part of the MCU moving forward. Whether there's a Vision Quest show or not, I think it's it's great that he's going to come back. Yeah, to your point about the gravitas that he brings, a movie, I think both you and I say this, that I, my appreciation grows for every time I see it is is the second Avengers movie. Avengers 100%. Age of Ultron. 100%. That scene near the end of the film where the battle's done, Vision and now Ultron standing there and they have this little exchange it's so good you know paul bettany and james spader you know doing this little exchange ultimately ending with vision wiping out ultron but it was it was a, a really beautiful moment uh with him i was just gonna say like last night uh multiverse of madness was on tv and i watched the rest of it from where i caught it and Wanda is so strong in that oh, oh no, they they made her ridiculously crazy powerful. That where she's chasing them in the tunnels, that that part was frightening. I I like that movie a little bit more. <laughs> than, I listen, listen. I I I, I like Doctor Strange: The Multiverse of Madness. I think it was definitely lower tier MCU. I don't think it was great, I, and I certainly have my problems with it. I mean, hundred yeah. percent, I have my problems with it. But I mean, there's not, but again, you're talking about a lot of the overpower, whether it's Thor. Whether it's you know a Vision, uh, Wanda, Captain Marvel, Kevin well, Feige saying she's the most powerful character in the thing. Now we got this Gaia, this idiot character Gaia <laughs> running around that I have the powers of all the, the Avengers. I, I mean, it's just they're just making everybody more and more and more and more and more powerful. The thing with Vision that I don't mind is he, he could be really powerful. At least you know how to defeat him. You just pull out that stone. He's a robot. Yeah, there's, but good there's, luck. There's some ways you can. <laughs> Just you know, pull out his stone. Yeah, yeah but I, yeah, just, I have a problem with the characters that are overpowered and you see no weakness or there is no way to defeat them. Mm. You know what I mean? Hey, guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called The John Campy Show Podcast available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.